just for you, love. Could be good, yeah. Sasuke is nice thinning, uh, a lot of points. There's definitely styles like that, yep. Right. Well, deploy gets resolved first. Yes, yes. Yep. What's up, you absolute legends? Today, I have a Squirtle hand buff deck for you. I really hope you can enjoy this list. We are definitely playing Triss. Um, I think Triss works really good in a hand buff list because it allows you to draw a unit of your choice and boost it by three. And we've got a lot of units in particular that we want to aim to boost. That's kind of the overall theme of playing this deck, right? So keep that in mind. We are playing some of the new cards, being this one. And the Seer that got a buff as well in this list. So the leader ability that we're using is Invigorate. Boost four units in your hand by one. Three charges. The way we want to look to use leader is really timing it well with the seer here um typically if you have seer in your hand round one and you've got a handful of units you can use your leader to boost all of the units up except talk and then what you're going to do is play seer down on the board and um you target talk and then talk is going to give a big boost to something else as well so that's how we're looking to get value out of that card um that's how we're going to look to use leader of course you can also use it later on but if you want to go ahead and commit like a charge or two round one you can do that and keep in mind the targets that we want to use leader ability on would be this unit here aglace of course sheldon and talk okay those are the ones in particular i've got crystal skull in this deck as a stratagem boost an ally unit by four give it fail the target for Crystal Skull is predominantly going to be the Smuggler. It does give it protection from getting locked or poisoned at this time. Um, in addition to that, you could use it on the Defender. It will boost it. Allow, it to, allow its ability to work, I should say. And um, then, of course, you could just give it to Dunker to make it a taller power unit so it doesn't just get removed by some kind of control. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card and when to play it during a match. So I am running a bit of a dwarf package in this deck and the reasoning behind that is because we are playing this elf unit up here and I was thinking if we get his power to um, 10 you could go ahead and play Novigradian Justice being this card here and pull another dwarf out of your deck um, spawn Cleaver's Muscle if you've already got one on the board. So that's kind of the idea of the dwarf package in this deck and how we can use that card but yeah we've got the skirmishes here it does give give us some control right um six points of damage in total and it's one powered unit what you want to do with this is aim for a unit um that you're not going to give the death blow to so you get armor on this unit and then you can use its order barricade ability damage an enemy unit by three these cards are kind of just fillers in these deck um play them as you like so we've got two of those. Walker support. Boosting the ally unit in your hand by one. If that unit was already boosted, boost it by three instead. With the majority of our boostings towards our hand that we're going to be doing, we want to pretty much target Talk because he's going to be boosting other units in our hand whenever he gets boosted, right? That's the best way to use those boosting options. So... Obviously, you want to wait till Torque's boosted first before you use this onto Torque because um, you get moral value that way if it was already boosted, okay? So feel free to play both Hawker supports out round one. That's fine. Got the defenders in here. As long as they're boosted, every ally turn on turn end, they're going to boost themselves by one. So obviously, you've got leader to consider using onto the defenders to keep them boosted. 
um, so they can work and they're pretty nice to use round one passive points um, their points will generate it can help you get round control just to give this deck some flexibility and what it can do i've got spores in here reset the power of a unit uh, we are running a number of engines so add it, i added in ale into this deck boost the unit by five remove its lock just in case something gets locked so with the seer it did get buffed boost an unboosted unit in your hand by the number of boosted units in your hand seer is a card i like to play round one in this deck um latest round two because we kind of want to bleed the opponent round two go for a short round three it could get awkward playing this round three so round one or round two look for this but in particular round one you use your leader ability you boost the majority of your units in your hand except talk then you're going to play seer and you're going to boost talk and then he's going to give a big boost to something else round one card at best okay double circle of life damage an enemy unit by three boost a random unit in your hand by two um if we hit the death blow we can choose the score tool unit in our hand instead so like i said once again um we have these targets in particular that you'd like to boost but keep in mind we really want to give the majority of our points to aglace um as well so it really depends on your hand and how it's looking if there's a good chance that Torque can boost Aglace, just keep giving it to Torque whatever boost we can. All right. So with Circle, um, you could kind of play this deck in a way where you bleed the opponent into round two. Um, and then in a short round three, you could just go kind of unitless and play two circles. And let's say your last card's Aglace and it's a ton of points and hopefully gets you a win. So you could use it for a bit of a unitless theme in a short round three. But otherwise, just use it as you like. With the smugglers, we want to prioritize getting these units down ASAP. Round one cards definitely. Every ally turn on turn end, boost a random unit in your hand by one. It's melee row locked. So with the smugglers, play them both out round one. Um, in combination to them, feel free to play Dunka out round one as well. Same thing. Just play it on the melee row. At the end of your turn, if order is not used, boost a random unit in your hand by one if it's a Squirtle unit. So keep in mind, we want to use these like the smuggler units. And you're not really going to use your order until you are absolutely going to pass the round, okay? At the very end of the round where you think you're not going to push anymore, then you offload this like last thing. But otherwise, we want to prioritize boosting our hand as much as possible. So good round one cards, smuggler, dunker, of course... They play well anytime for us. Always play them whenever you see them. Prioritize going for them. Double Harvest in this deck allows us to create and play a Bronze Squirtel Elk. Um, it's also going to be boosting units in our hand when we play this, which makes a lot of sense in a hand buff deck because we have a lot of those synergies, right? We want to boost units in our hand to get more value. So with Double Harvest, we're looking to play those through Simlas. We're going to play Simlas either round one to ensure round control if you can save it even better because you could use this round two to push for a bleed and it's more comfortable that way that you're not going to risk going card down because this allows you to play all copies of a bronze special card from your deck so really what we want to do is always keep harvest in deck and use simlas to get them out either round one to get round control or round two for a bleed dunker we've covered so yeah we've talked this card's always going to start in our hand Whenever this card is boosted in our hand, boost a random different unit in our hand by the same amount. So we always want to primarily boost Torque with any way that we can select to boost a unit. He's going to be the target for us. So with Sheldon, damage an enemy unit by the amount Sheldon is boosted. Pretty nice in this list. Offers us some control. It's melee roadlock. Keep that in mind. Um, this card is something that's going to be used more to like round two on the bleed or for round three. So the way I like to use Triss Butterflies in this deck is we should cover the ability first. It's deploy ranged. Make sure you play it ranged row. Shuffle a card from your hand into your deck. Then draw a unit of your choice and boost it by three. So what you can do is you can use this two ways. Round one, if you don't have one of your important um, cards that you like to buff in hand, like Aglace from your deck, let's say you don't have Aglace, you could play this down, pull Aglace from your deck, 
boost it by three that works better for that card later um it gives us some consistency in the deck because we can get a card we need that's how you can use this another way you can use this card is it's really helpful in the fact that sometimes you might brick your bountiful harvest play with simless you might have one harvest in your hand and it makes makes you makes an awkward situation for you so you could use tris to put like a special or harvest back in deck and pull a unit you'd like but tris is pretty good around one i think so the biggest challenge with playing hand buffs hand buff decks is getting round control round one and now that we don't have to run devotion i added ring of favor into this list to help get round control and you know we like to play really deep into round one with this deck to ensure we get round control so ring should get really big for us play for a lot of good value um obviously it's going to banish from our hand when our opponent passes if we didn't play it and we get to draw a card so it gives us consistency too in some cases and speaking of consistency with decree it allows us to play a unit from our deck um you might like to go for tris with decree or perhaps some of these kind of cards that are going to give you that um, boosting of the hand it's very important to ensure ensure that early on so with aglace on turn end double the amount of boosts on self usually um aglace is kind of our win condition in this deck and it's usually the final card we play at the end of the match and we can give it so many points that it could pretty much just carry carry us on its own um in a short round three situation let's say so try to prioritize boosting aglace um next best after talk okay if lean is it boost the squirtle unit in your hand by four once again you're gonna go for talk you just want to boost talk with any kind of boosting synergies here um you can play this round one if you like no problem this is pretty flexible any part of the match as long as you've got something good in your hand to boost so yeah, we covered Simlas, so just playing double harvest through that. And Philip Andrew, I like to play this Melee Row. Create and play a Squirtle special card with a provision cost equal to this unit's power. So you gotta know your ST cards well and what kind of specials you could go for. You'd want to go for Shaping Nature at 9 provision, or you go for Novigradi and Justice at 10. Uh, those are kind of my bets. At 8, you could also go Isengrim's Council, which could be good as well, okay? Because you've got Dryads, you've got Elves and Dwarfs. So, Philip Andrew, you can kind of use him on the bleed, use him round 1. He's flexible too. So, now that I've outlined the list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. The line of play I would suggest taking would be round 1. Let's prioritize getting our hand buff engines down. So, you could play Smugglers... Dunker, that's fine to open up that way. Um, use your leader to boost the majority of your units in your hand, except Torque. And then what you do is you can play Seer, and then you're going to boost Torque through Seer. He'll give a big, big boost to something else. Then what you can do from there is obviously play like Hawker Support, your passive points with the def Dwarf Defender. Um... You've got a ring to help get around control. If that doesn't get you around control, you can play Simlas Double Harvest. Um, what we want to do with this deck, I'd suggest is pretty much bleed into round two. Uh, if you're versing control lists especially, because we don't have much control to destroy things. So I think because we can generate so many points in a short round three through cards like Aglace and Torque, probably just push into round two, try to get some good cards out of the opponent, find a good time to pass. And then in round three, you've got Aglace, Talk, and you know our majorly boosted units to consider playing and whatever else you got left, like Circle. So I hope you're going to enjoy the following matches. Thanks a lot for your support and speak to you very soon. There's going to be one greedy match. Yeah, exactly. I'm not surprised. It's it's definitely so strong. Melisine? Oh cool. Well, Melisine's got Veil. Humans are scuffed. I prefer L. War. A thinning package. And what do I need from deck?
Maybe we're going... Well, I pretty much got what I need, really. Maybe I look for Sith? I'll do what I can. Offensive player. Maybe they're not running um, the sentries, I don't know. <laughs> Resetting her, seriously. Not afraid. You should be. That's pretty funny. Seriously. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Show me the coin or off. Let's get this down. Dunker. I think we're going to see similar cards. Would you like an arrow to the head instead? Now we just play Serum to talk. I'm probably stuck in that melee, so at least the pings won't kill it off too much. It's probably the play. This moment, I've seen it already. Ah, oh, right. So they miscalculated. Yeah, you gotta pay attention to those things. Right, right. Oi, hey there, come here. Probably pass now. You'll regret your mum ever squirting you in. I think Saskia is like pretty good thinning in tempo for them. Yeah, that's true. So we'll definitely hold spores. They're just gonna play pretty much our cards. Exactly what we're playing. I'd like to find Simlas. Simlas or Decree, I think is good. Yeah, she's really strong, man. Got business for me. Never had your kneecap broken. Passes. Okay, well, we still got Simlas and Double Harvest, which is pretty nice. Thinking of what we want to take, we we want Smuggler. Okay. Yep. Damn, we missed the Korean Simlas. Crap. For real. what happens yeah no way oh, crazy all right what about Dunka she live thanks for the follow appreciate it 
smuggler. Show me the coin or sod off. Six. We could do that, yeah. I was thinking even going justice. Sisters, follow me. But maybe it's better. I think you're right. Um, I forgot the card. The 10 provision one, yeah? We pretty much want that out of there now first. Need 10, yeah, that's true. So we're going one. That feels overkill on that. It's a really big boost. It's going to be helping them a lot too, though. did it <laughs> you never seen your boy click so fast oh crap nah it's all good I just feel I'm over I'm kind of overdoing it if I go if I do it that way We lost the point? Did we really? Now is the time of the sword and axe. One harvest. Probably kills Donke, yeah. Perfect kill there. Hope they didn't draw as good as we did. <laughs> it's another hoping match. Okay, that's concerning. When the white frost comes, do not eat the yellow snow. Probably going talk now. This is not what we agreed. Gonna see something big now. I'm one. It's a lot of points, but what's in the hand? It's talk. Whoa! <laughs> yes! 
Take it. Take it, baby. Woo! <laughs> yes! Yes! We coming for pro! I really want that. Don't want that. Just open up like this. We don't have smugglers or dunker, that's not really good. Best drown yourself with those damn nets. Playing a little one. Could do sim lass. Pray not ignorant. Remember to whom you speak. I guess we damage it still, don't we? Could go circle on it if they don't use it. Wyvern shield? Oh, that's um. It's definitely an interesting play. Very nice. Oh, okay. Is that nine? One pillar and one spores. Yeah, it's a good idea, pretty much. Very cheap, good cards. Yep. Smart thinking, my friend. I like how you roll. Ah, they want to boost that. Damn it. Oh, why you do this to me? I was actually thinking of going for justice then. We're <laughs> probably better off saving it still. We're way ahead on points here, man. We're cruising. Take that. <laughs> ah, it's my luck. It's my luck today, man. It is. Probably just do, do ring now. We're already up on good points. Save the rest. That should get us round control. Really? He's still playing. That's a bit of points to cover, my friend. I got a passive points engine on the board. You threw Arnegard out now. No. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it was a good pass. Anna guard, heat wave. I think it was good. Even if we give up round control. Anna guard's big to get out, heat wave is a big trade. We got really good cards left over. Triss. Don't think. Got a leader charge out. Don't you pester me? Not the likes of overseas plunder. They're really trying to bleed me.
all we've left. Squirtle unit. We get for more hand buff synergies. Boosted by one. This is boosting our hand. Could be good, yeah. Sasuke is nice thinning, uh, a lot of points. There's definitely styles like that, yep. Right. Well, deploy gets resolved first. Yes, yes. Yep. Deep play works first. Very good. All right, they underestimated us. Okay. So we get rid of ale. Okay, well. We don't want this. <laughs> What's up, brother? How are you? My man, coming at the clutch time. Oh. Yeah, let's do it, baby. Let's do it. The only good door is a dead door. <laughs> Crap. Talk hit that. Okay. I should have played C first. Actually, Just... put that back. I'll do it like that. I guess that's the thing with talk, isn't it? Ugh. I do play it a bit risky like that. Yeah, go well, thanks. Thank you, man. I'm grinding my ass off to get to pro, dude. Win one, lose one. <laughs> it's been funny, this climb. Alright, let's prioritize this. Show me the coin or sod off. You didn't make it? What'd you finish up on? You're just rank one? Um, I, s I caught glimpses of your stream. You're playing um, Congregate. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I did see that. I saw bits of it. Nice. Okay, we got it. We got a ton of points left there, but anyway. Okay, so we definitely need a hand buffing kind of cards here to play out. I just don't know if they got something sneaky like a serpent trap. I might do this first. I will not let this become a second Sodden. Then we could go decree into smuggler. We 
give it the stratagem. Got business for me. What's up, buddy? How are you? Nice to see ya. That's interesting. Goes for that. Smuggler's melee row locked. Right. I do this. Before you go to bed? Oh, okay, cool. It's late where you're at. Trying to get to pro rank with hand buff. Yeah, that's fair. That's expected with their list. So should I roast stack range then maybe? Now is the time of the white frost and white light. Simlas is pretty good at eight. Yeah, right. One more feather and Okay, still keeps me ahead. Oh, that's good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Nice to see you. Are you fucking kidding me? Cat instead of crowns? Ah. Probably hitting Sim last now. You are no lunatic. Don't have much use for that. Um, maybe it works. Yeah. Okay. Pen Ikea. Ted Day Red is nigh. That worked out alright. Got ring. Ring's not bad here. There we go. Very good. Would have been good to save Simlas next, but that's all right. I don't think we're going to need spores. I'm probably looking for something else at this point other than that. Or maybe we're clicking that away, keeping that. Yeah, it's not really good. This does not really have any use for us here. And well, thanks about yourself. Oh, Sasuke has a lot of points. Okay. I feel I have to take this line because they're very control heavy, their list. I don't think we'd do good over a longer round. Yeah. Okay, it's fair enough. That's good to hear. I'm trying to get to pro rank with this list. I'm like two matches away.
Could potentially just keep it like this and pass. Traps. Trap stick. You ended up making pro the day before season reset. Good on you. <laughs> I bet you enjoyed those extra rewards. It's, it's pretty good, the hand. Like, we're cut down, obviously. So it's boosting an unboosted unit. What do we want to boost up? Maybe Dunker? get smuggler down dunker we use leader at some point now hey z what's up my man that's things he's probably not even gonna be much use to us here maybe i try to keep this alive Yeah, I'll probably boost that over Dunker though too. Special prize. Just for you, love. Right. Some hot chocolate, nice. So what traps have they played? Serpent. Could be a, a pitfall. Could be crushing trap. Good, they survived. Yeah, traps is not the best. We don't really have tall targets for him. Maybe something jumps out late. We'll see. He could kill an engine. A sword to outshine all of us. So we've got no idea what that is. Malitalus Malus, get one dead thunder heat. Smuggler wouldn't mean dead. <laughs> Mate, that's why they call me the magician. Yeah, it's going to be talk here. I think we space our cards out. I'll give you iron balls, you scoundrels. Yeah. Just in case there's a crushing trap. Well, there's the heat wave out. Okay. Aglace is a lot of points, man. That's a lot of points. Eldane? What are you doing? Yo, and still. 
And still. Baby, we're gonna get to pro. 